gun-free, madman-friendly zones coming to an end in Ohio. That's what we're going to talk about on Daily Shooter. My name is Paul Gordon for News Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Today's date is Saturday, December 10th, 2016. Let's get on with the show. From Breitbart.com, in the wake of the November 28th Ohio State University attack, lawmakers in the state have passed a bill that allows colleges and universities to allow concealed carry permit holders to carry guns on their campuses for self-defense. The campus carry measure originated in House Bill 48, which was sponsored by State Representative of Republican Ron Mayak. Buckeye Firearms Association reports that language from HB 48 was inserted into a Senate bill, SB 199, late Thursday and thereafter passed the House by a vote of 68 to 25. At 3.15 a.m. Friday morning, the Ohio Senate passed the measure by a vote of 22 to 8. This means that colleges and universities can now allow students with concealed carry permits to carry guns for self-defense. It also means that concealed carry permit holders can keep guns in their cars in a public school parking lot, which is something they are already legal to do at colleges and universities. The legislation also removes the mandatory gun-free designation for daycare facilities, daycare facilities, private aircraft, and public areas of airport terminus. Having seen story after story of gunmen and now knifemen entering gun-free zones and taking their pick of helpless, defenseless victims, it is a joy to see some political bigwigs deciding that rather than attempt to disarm, to create more helpless, defenseless victims of madmen, Maybe they should let people defend themselves. Bravo. This is where you might insert a slow, sarcastic clap. So, hey, let's do that. But, hey, anytime common sense manages to cut through the muck of any legislative body, we should all celebrate such moments. What is surprising to me is not that this legislation passed, but that it did not pass unanimously, and that any idea, like gun-free zones, that is so antithetical to the human reality of self-defense was ever allowed to pass. This just proves the old axiom true once again. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Thank you for joining us on today's Daily Shooter with Paul Gordon. This has been gun-free, madman-friendly zones to end in Ohio. Join us on this same YouTube channel for the next edition of New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Hit that bell. Also, you can like us on Facebook at Facebook at New Shooting Self-Defense and always remember your ABCs. Always be carrying.